Welcome back to Research Learning Algorithms. This video will teach you why you may look for research problems because a lot of students don't know where to look for research problems and it can probably take them countless hours for what to study. So here we're going to have five sources as to why you can look for your research problems and the first one of course is the social issues. There are so many societal issues that confront people even from time immemorial. In recent events, we can study an issue such as one of my research interests which is on women empowerment. Like, you can formulate questions such as how to prevent violence against women, how should the government respond to the work issues of women, how to empower them. Another that you can work on may be in an educational setting such as how schools can address bullying, what existing programs do schools implement in order to listen to about rights, what can be done to help those children in conflict with the laws, etc. So, other societal issues can include mental health literacy of students, how to prevent an upsurge of suicide rates that is really alarming, so it is a major problem. Also, problems in conflict-afflicted areas are among one of those major issues of society, how to strengthen peace efforts. And there are social issues, a lot of it, and those can be addressed through research. The second source that you can have would be the external source. The external source would refer to those who are not part of the organization you're working for. You might interview people or certain groups of people whom you would like to focus on, let's say in the field of education, you might ask teachers or parents among others. You may also consider conducting a preliminary survey on target groups or experts who may have the interest of an issue you really would like to delve on. The third one, you can have research priorities. Your own organization has its research agenda. You may want to look into that since those are priority issues of your organization depending on what organization you're working for. So as an example, you are in the agricultural discipline, then it can be on emerging varieties of produce. You can even look at the national research agenda. You just need to search for it online. That's what I do. I research on national research agenda. The fourth one is your experience or it can be your experience or another person's experience that you're interested to study. Like my cousin, he had a slight accident when he was very young so like five years later he did a study on spider silk because that's what his mother used to treat his cuts. Then the rest was history. He actually won a national award for his science investigatory project on spider cell. Thanks for that experience. The fifth one, the fifth source, would be on literature. One of those common ways that researchers look for problems to study is by conducting a systematic review of the literature. After finding out that there is a literature gap, then there is a need to do rigorous research on that particular gap. There is no ending on the literature gaps due to a wide body of literature. So those are some sources of research problems that you can look into. But then again, not all problems are researchable. Some problems are not that relevant, especially if it does not help in creating or improving policies and most scientists make discoveries because of the need to discover a solution to a problem so be that research scientist who can answer for that need and not the cause of problems thank you everyone i hope that you didn't hear my german shepherd barking and that's it thanks for watching